center number one. Welcome back. Today we have a very special project Pete and Kevin are working on. It's for an organization called Drive Towards a Cure, which is helping raise awareness to support Parkinson's disease and benefit of research and patient care. In this first segment, you will learn how Pete and Kevin are modifying a stock 6.2 liter LS3 engine using their custom made two valve overhead cam box conversion and adapting it onto the existing LS architecture. This one's pretty cool, so you might wanna check this one out. So Pete, the, this is your your guys' conversion. So the so the LS portion of this is stock, pretty much, right? I mean, it's All a stock right. style cylinder head. But this is the part that you manufacture here, right? This the cam box, yeah. The cam box. This thing here. Ah. So and then, Kevin. So you drafted that up and Bobcat and then milled no, it. No, this one parts. was before. This is all done. Anyway. Okay. This one. Oh, has sealer on there right yeah, now. Yeah, but anyway, this, that's how it goes. Oh, okay. These particular heads have a lot of valve covers, bolts. So we're using those. But normally but we this use is, the, This is uh, an earlier version. That they don't have that. We made a later one. The newer ones are just in the center, bolts. right? Yeah. We use these so, rocker studs. Okay. So that mm -hmm. was fun Fun making the newer one version. Too. This is like, I think, a, a 90, 90s version of an LS head. Now this was this was right after the fire, which was in 07. Okay, so you're just simply then just using like an RTV type of sealant, and then you put the cam box on, put all the bolts in, and then right. yeah. set the cams in there, and then set the timing, really, huh? Yeah. Well, the biggest thing is this right here, that's and that's oil, oil drain back, or what that's is that? Oil supply. Oh, that's the supply to yeah the okay. cam boxes, and that is a real bitch to get lined up so is it just pressed into a hole in the yeah in the... I'll show you wow that. There's, a, there's a hole that runs lengthwise here oh okay the whole length and then we we run a two our newer stuff we put it down, right down the cam this was one of our earlier versions <laughs> we drill a hole through the cam okay and oil one of them but this one we've got a well, every journal, right? So it's all ported inside of there, right? Well, there's, there's a horses. hole that runs the lengthwise, and, and then, then there's these small holes that intersect it, and then this pumps oil from the lifter. We take one of the lifters and put a tube in it. And that's your oil supply. That blocks off the oil to the to the front. Yeah. And also supplies oil to here. So you're just using one of the lifter. No, no, no. On the like... LS, remember they didn't intersect the whole hole. And we had to put plugs in every one of them because they they only do like half the hole. So, and so that's that's what normal, it looks like. Normal V8 you can do that where you only have to block the back one off for a well, the old I should say normal the older Chevys you could just block off the back one, but the newer the LSs the whole they only intersect half the hole. They intersect the, the hole this way. So by putting a plug in there, the oil still goes through. Yeah. So we have to put a an actual aluminum lifter, like a lifter, bored out, and we pound it into the block. So that keeps the oil from coming Leaking out. Leaking down, bleeding out. So all the oil goes in the rear lifter bore, through a little plug, through a tube, into the cam, into the cam box. Okay. And this is and the magic little, thing here. What's the magic? Let me see. To get that tube to line up, Oh, you have to have this of, little piece of wire, copper so wire. I go through. Oh, it's welding rod. Welding rod. And so I, so I can line up the hole. And is it tapered there? Oh yeah, so it's off the lines. Here, move that out of the way. All right, so here it goes. This is. Sometimes it's easy, that. and sometimes it isn't. Use a flashlight. <laughs> I got it. I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Got a flashlight. Yeah. Right there, yeah. Cool. Let's go down. Yep, look right here to make sure. Feel any air over there? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. So I know that it's lined up. Cool. <laughs> So it didn't collapse it or anything. Yeah. Short rise go out here. Okay. 
So you basically you have two versions of these cam boxes, one for the ones with the holes around the perimeter of the valve cover. We've only or built the head. We've only built two LSs. So this is one of two, huh? Yeah. And the heads change from time to time. I don't know well, I know why they change because they figure a better way to do it. Um, but we have to we have to make these boxes to fit the head because mm -hmm. every head's a little bit different, especially on the older engine. Yeah, sure. And like I said, we've only done two LSs, so um, we're still left. But we did the we, we did put the LT5 heads on an LS on block. Block. We also put them on the old block. Sure. Um, the old the old 350. But this is kind of more of your. First, say, lack like words, a budget overhead cam conversion, right? Because it's just a two valve. Oh, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> well, it's, I mean, your other ones are all four valve, and you, right? No and take pictures of this. So. Well, this is we, our, our, our torque wrench broke, so I have to use oh. this. <laughs> we started in late 80s building the first four valve using Codsworth Fierro heads on a regular Chevy block. Uh huh. And then I told Kevin, I said, why don't we put a single cam on a regular, you know, the old Chevy. That was in the 90s. Yeah. Early 90s. So we built about 40 of them since then. And then the LS came out, and we had a guy that had an LS engine. He wanted an overhead cam on it. And that's kind so of where this came about. we built the first one, and then this is the second one. Okay. Uh, but everything else we do is pretty much four valves. Yeah. Uh, LT5 head on the old block. We put LT5 on an LS, which is in the car. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. And then we've got an LT5 complete running for Bonneville also. And that's the four liter or five liter? Five liter. Five liter. We destroked it to five liter, uh, converted to belt drive. And that's yeah. got a half a dozen records. And then we get the four liter, yeah. which is the old Chevy block with the LT5 heads. And then we got the LS block with the Corvette heads, four valve Corvette heads. Okay. So you have three um, LS, LT5, the four valve head engines, right? You have right. the one in the 34 Ford, you have the four liter and the five liter. Right. And then this is a two valve. Right. And the other one you made is two valve. And this is similar to the Ford 427 engine, right? Pretty much same yeah. concept. Very, uh, very similar. Bucket two valve and, on, on a stock Edelbrock head. Exactly. On a Ford, on a, yeah. Very similar to the, the 460. On an FE motor. 427 Ford. Okay. I got a call from Hollywood today. Yeah? He's got a, a, a 426 Chrysler Hemi head, four valve, full red cam. Wow. One, one of one. Right? Where'd that one come from? Two. He's in, he's in Ohio. He wants twenty thousand dollars for a single head, unfinished, for a Hemi, for a four twenty six Hemi. Really? Yeah. I, I talked to the guy. He says there's another pair of them on an engine back there somewhere, but he's got one head, yeah. unfinished. And he wants twenty grand for it. For for a single, head. no cams, no yeah. no seats, no guides. Could nothing. you just make your own? For that kind of money, yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought there were two when when uh, oh. when I got the email. There's just one. Yeah, only okay. one. And twenty thousand bucks. So you need another one for another twenty. So makes our Mosier worth thirty grand. Yeah, it runs. <laughs> more than that. And that's a four belt. Well, it is a four belt. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Any other improvements on this with like breathing and so on, like crankcase gases? Well, or? we got a PCV and we got a vent here. Um, they, they're a lot better on breathing because the valley is almost sealed off. Yeah. Just a little bit. So we will get apt to have less mist up there. Um, and the PCV valve. This is a fairly mild engine. This is not a radical engine. And this is a 6.2. And can we look at your 6.2 over here? Because this sure. is the same, same bottom end, right? So that's a two valve overhead cam conversion. And I know you were talking about this one the other day, but as I've been listening, this is your four valve right. this overhead is cam. LT5 head that they made back in the 90s for Corvette. Okay. LT5, and we put them on an LS block. The four of the head bolts line up, the other four do not. A okay. Bit different. So the, the, block, the head is different than the block. 
So what we did, we pounded an aluminum plug in the hole, in the, in the hole that did not line up. Okay. And then the other hole is right next to it, it's like a figure eight almost. All right. And then we used a real thick, heavy washer. Uh, so we could use the stock LS head bolts in the stock LT5 head to get oh, that cool. to line up. Then we converted to belt drive. Yeah, I see that. Because the LS block has no provision for um, belt or and chain, tradi chain. But traditionally, this when it was on the Corvette, it was chain. Yeah. But this is not the LT5 block, this is the LS block. Yeah. This is a late model block. It's the same block as that one, the bottom right, one. exactly. It's 6.2. Uh, 375 cubic inch. Uh, Mercury Marine makes, makes this engine also. They use the seven liter 427 yeah. LSX, they call it. And they make their own heads that fit properly. And they run, they turn one belt or one cam, they turn the exhaust cam and they've got a set of gears between the cam. So the intake cam turns reverse rotation. Okay. Because the two gears. Um, it's on YouTube. Yeah. But they quit making them now. They so were, yours all turn in the same rotation. Right. We, re, we extend the pushrod cam out. And then put a sprocket on the end. And put a same size sprocket on it as this is, because it's already turning half speed. Okay. So all, all five sprockets are, are smaller. The cams are only three and a half inches apart, so the biggest gear you could put on there is about three and three eighths. Okay. Or they touch, right? So you are very, I mean, this has a lot more flow and, and power, right, than yeah, the stock? Yeah, yeah, four valve will make another 30, 40% more horsepower than a two valve if everything else is equal. Okay. Right? I mean, I've been in this. We hope you found this first segment interesting. Stay tuned because on the next segment that we hope to release soon, you'll see more progress made on this engine and you'll see Kevin set up the timing and Pete and then we'll drop it in and fire it up for the first time. We hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you.